Hello friends, welcome to the world of biology. My dear future doctors, pathologists, biotechnologists and scientists, you, I know you are preparing wonderfully well for the coming examination. And, but I would like to bring your notice to certain points which may, you may have not thought during your preparation. First and foremost thing, presentation. How do you present your answer? The presentation of the answer should be in such a way the evaluator who's holding your copy will get thrilled with it. Do not add unnecessary and irrelevant points. Consider your NCRT book as your Bible and your Gita. The key points given in it, the words given in it should be written promptly in the examination. That will help you to score marks. And please make clear with yourself, when you are presenting your answer, be precise also. Do not go in depth, 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 because that much isn't required. Another important thing, when you are presenting your answer, be accurate about your answer. Stick to the word limit, stick to what has been asked in the question. Do not turn your answer round and round and round, because that will not lead you anywhere. If you want to score marks, pinpoint certain things in your presentation. First and foremost thing, when you are writing your answers, see to it that they are neatly written. You very well know there are different sections in the paper and whichever section you feel like opting and attempting first, you attempt all the questions given in that particular section in order. That will avoid you from certain confusions. Same way, it is not to avoid your confusion, but even evaluators will also not get confused. So please answer the questions in order of a particular section. If you think that you want to start with five mark questions first or section last section first, then in that case attempt those questions first because those are direct questions. And try to attempt all those questions which are direct questions first because they are lengthy also and you'll find it easier, your brain is also fresh right in the beginning of the exam and you'll be able to write it perfectly well. Then you come on to the section where you find a bit of reasoning questions and sort of hot questions which requires a lot of time for thinking and all. So that you can make an attempt a little later. This is about how in what order you have to attempt. Another important thing is when you are presenting your answer, please make sure, ensure yourself that you are underlining the headings and please write that in bold because that will attract the evaluator while correcting your papers. Follow? Right. Another thing, when many questions will be having diagrams and flow diagrams. So whenever you are drawing the diagrams, as you have been always must have been taught by your teachers in the schools, that diagrams are to be made in such a way, of course, you will use pencil only, but certain diagrams where anatomical regions have to be shown. In those diagrams, it would be better and it, you will score much better if you are highlighting certain portions of the tissues with lighter and darker shades. That will improve your diagram presentation. Same way while you are labeling the diagrams, those diagrams should be labeled in such a way that you pinpoint a particular point. For example, if there's a diagram for embryo sac and you have to label synergids and antipodals, so please pinpoint at that particular point where the synergids and antipodals are located. Fine? Right. This is about diagram. Same way for flow diagram. There are certain answers, certain questions in the paper which does not requires paragraph writing. And moreover, if you explain those things in a sort of a flow diagram, the evaluator finds it easy to check. You do not tend to miss out any steps while writing. But if you are opting a method of para paragraph writing, in that case, there is a possibility that you may skip off one or two points in that. So better is to opt for a flow diagram sort of a thing. In that case, you won't miss out any step and your answer will be perfectly well. Especially I'm talking about essay type answers, right? Another thing, when you're doing your paper, while doing your paper, you yourself are able to judge how much is left and you're looking at the watch also, how much time is left with you. So please maintain the speed also and very important, speed can never be maintained in a subjective paper like biology if you haven't done practice at home. 
so please it's my request to you oh my dear children that do practice at home for writing because it's a subjective so in that case select out any paper of your choice whatever you feel you have prepared or whatever and in that case sit for 2 hours take a watch with you sit for 3 hours and in a stipulated time of 3 hours complete the paper and check what is your speed this will help you to maintain the speed this has to be done prior right another important thing once you are accurate with your speed and writing and everything then of course time is well managed and you won't cry at the end of the paper i could not complete in spite of knowing the answers that's the biggest fear in the mind of the children when they are attempting a subjective paper so if you have uh, in your practice if you have really maintained the speed while doing it while practicing it you won't have that fear and remove that fear from the mind that you are going to attempt a subjective paper which is going to be lengthy papers aren't lengthy papers are well planned for 3 hours only my dear children it's only you have to plan your time accordingly another important thing is when you are doing the paper you will do the wonder do the best and you know the best you know the best remember do not forget to add the points which are given in ncert book that doesn't mean you cannot add anything additional from the refresher box you uh, examinations are the platform where you are going to show your potential to the teachers to the evaluators to the board and you can show it but at the same time remember that you are not missing out any points from ncert book because ncert book is geeta bible and quran for you so you have to memorize it you have to learn it you have to remember it in such a way that you are not missing those points good okay very important thing you have completed the paper you are satisfied with your performance with your doing part in the paper and when you come out after the exam most important thing do not discuss your answers with your friends because that will bring you bring your spirit down maybe when you discuss your papers with your friends what happens they will tell something you will tell something and there may be a tendency that you may think oh my god i wrote this wrong so please do not discuss the answers once you come out of the examination hall be happy you have done your 100% in the examination according to your preparation fine last important thing is keep yourself motivated throughout the preparation for biology exam because motivation is the most important factor for the success and examinations are just a platform for satisfying the qualifying criteria for competitive exam and i know i am 100% sure that you are going to do wonderfully well in board exam as well as you will qualify wonderfully well in the competitive exam remain calm remain composed believe in yourself believe in god and give 100% from yourself all the best god bless you children